What is up you guys? It's your girl Nelly J back with a, another video. Thank you so much for joining me. This is officially the first video that we're recording in the glam space. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, still some little things to do, but overall I'm really happy with how the space turned out. I'm gonna be doing like a small little tour, nothing too major. We're not gonna dedicate a whole lot of time to it, trust me. It's like, it'll take two seconds. Um, but things have been so, so crazy for me the past couple of weeks. I have moved, taken a new job, still trying to remain sane. Um, and then wanting to make sure that I'm bringing you guys content. If I ever fall behind, just bear with me, okay? I promise I have not forgotten about this. I definitely have it in the forefront of my mind at all times. Just... Bear with you, sister. It's the new year, 2021. We we own it all year, okay? So, I know you're probably like, why Nelly looking? How she looking? Um, What's a look without a wig? Y'all know we finna drop in and do a quick little wig review um, and and finish this look out because this is not this is not cute, but that's okay. Um, so, but before we get into that, let's talk about the previous wig that we did on the last video. Um, we did the perfect hairline and the style Ella. Um, and I had her in the color Creamy Mocha. DR Creamy Mocha? DR4 Creamy Mocha? Something like that. Um, so, that wig was actually a really nice unit. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed that wig when I had her on. Um, she was just really, really lovely, like full of bounce, full of life throughout the whole time. I didn't wear her as long as I normally would a unit, um, just because I had been really, really wanting to just wear my natural hair for a few days. You know how you get into those moods and you'd be like, I just want to throw it out for a little bit. Just, I don't want to do nothing else. I just want to throw and just want to go. So I didn't wear her as long as I normally would, but she is definitely going to be making her way back around because I really, really enjoy that unit. Um, and of course, you know, since we were on the perfect hairline, why not keep it going? Um, so we are going to be reviewing today the perfect hairline in the style Sky, and I have her in the color 1B. She is a bob, y'all. I have been wanting a freaking bob for a while now, like a straight bob. So the Ella unit, it was a cute little lob or whatever, but it was not like a true, true bob. And I've been wanting one. Um, so I saw Miss Sky and I was like, let's give her a chance. So I have her in the color 1B. Of course, she is a 13 by four, fully hand tied lace wig. She comes with that faux scalp. The faux scalp has kind of been a hit or a miss. Either it's too noticeable or it's like, what was the point of it being here? It really didn't make a difference. Hit or miss. I think it depends on the unit itself, but whatever. So she comes with a transparent lace, no plucking required. So the hairline is supposed to mimic, you know, a natural hairline kind of pre-plucked. Um, you can either part her in the center, the side, or a braid top. Now, it does not come pre-braided, I know, but that is super, super cute for a child. That's all I'm gonna say, for a child. I don't, mm -mm. it's not a good look. I don't, I will, no. And you know, you can have your opinions, that's great. But y'all know I don't, I don't do excessive baby hairs and I don't do braided tops. I think some styles should have been out when we all turned 13, 14, 15, 28. So, you know, neither here nor there though. If you enjoy it, do you boo, do you boo boo. All right, so the back does come with the adjustable elastic band as well as the combs for security side has, you know, a natural hairline throughout, all that good stuff. So we are going to get her out of the package and pop her on, y'all, and see what she does. 
And let's go ahead and take a look at her sock card before we get her all undone. So she comes in the standard colors, but she also comes in some specialty colors here. Um, strawberry blonde, chocolate cream, red velvet, ginger brown, the creamy mocha, which you saw in the Ella, golden amber, and then DRFF Cajun Spice. And I really, I'm feeling the Cajun Spice. And you know what? I feel like this is the color that I've been trying to find for a while now, and I never can, but we're going to come across it at some point. I'm going to keep, keep the faith that we're going to come across it. All right, so let's get her out of her packaging. And at first glance, y'all, she is, she thick. Like she, she thick. <laughs> She's super thick. Okay, I'm feeling that. I love me a good, good thick bob. All right. <clears throat> let's cut off this little string. Now, I know that some people have been a little hesitant about this collection because a lot of people say that the lace is too light. And I agree, it does come off a bit light if you take a look. Well, it's not too far off, but it does come across a bit light. But I do think that out of a lot of the synthetic units that are on the market right now, for some reason, this lace that comes on here, I think has the most potential to adjust. Like it does really well with foundation and powder and you know, bringing it to your skin tone. So even though it may yeah come out really, really light um, out of the package, I do think that there is room uh, to change that. But y'all look, look at the thickness of this unit. Look at the bounce on this unit, y'all. That, I'm living for that, but y'all know that faux scalp. <laughs> that faux scalp, and you can see right where it starts, drives me crazy. I told you, it either is a hit or a miss. Either you don't notice that it's there or it's so obvious that it's there. I don't, Otre, I don't know what that's about. Like, just... Just give me the lace. Don't don't give me that faux scalp. Just come on now. Baby hairs galore. Let's pop her on real quick. You know, she won't be tacked down, but let's get a good visual. Oh, oh, hold on. That's just straight out the package, no extra done. Oh y'all, when I tell you, oh she thick, she is thick. But she's pretty, you guys, she's pretty. Okay, she definitely has a lot of movement to her. I have not brushed the back, but I'm gonna turn and do a spin so y'all can see what she looks like in the back. How's she looking, y'all? I hope she's not stiff. Stiff in the back. <laughs> okay. The texture of this hair is super silky, but it's so, it's it's really thick, y'all. Like a good, healthy blowout kind of thick. Oh, okay, for the side part. How deep does the side part go before you see tracks though? Let's we'll see. Oh, that's a good. I'm not mad at that at all. Hold on now. Let's see if we can take it a little deeper. Mm. 
Oh, y'all, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that in, in the least. And that flip over. Girl, quit your stuff. Quit your stuff, Sky. He Hello. What'd she say? It's the bob for me. That... Okay, let me stop playing because I'll be here all day. So let me go ahead and get this unit onto this mannequin, y'all, and get this lace cut off so that we can really get her tacked down and on and really, really play around with her. Um, let's do a quick look at the construction. She does come with two combs in the front, comb in the back, and the elastic band. Now, y'all know sometimes that elastic band will give you a headache, but... So far, the last few perfect hairlines, it's been okay. So we'll give it a, a try and see what happens. But stay tuned. We're going to go ahead, cut this lace off, and then we're going to come back and get her laid. <laughs> to get her secured and styled and we will see what she does all right you guys so we have got that lace all trimmed off and i am going to go ahead and pop her on really quickly i've already adjusted those bands in the back so she should surely fit snugly let me tell you I will say this one, she is definitely big head friendly because what she's sitting is loosely. Is flipped out and this is I have not put any product in there so she's not tagged down yet but y'all I ain't gonna say nothing else I'm gonna just we're just gonna work it out so as usual we are going to be going in with our got to be um our freeze spray as well as our gel uh styling gel and a blow dryer on a cool heat setting and we will get her tacked down so i'm just gonna pull her back a bit expose that you know forehead situation and get started
Caramel Cutie and we're just gonna take that powder right up into the hairline so I can definitely see where that faux scalp <laughs> begins and ends and everything in between but I don't want other people to see <laughs> So we are going to go in with that just to kind of help blend, blend that little variation of color together. And then I'm also going to be cleaning up my hairline with a little bit of um, rubbing alcohol just to get that excess got to be glue, free spray and gel off of my skin. for a middle part. She is so full of bounce. I can't even deal. All right, let's take it over to this side a bit. I'm definitely a fan of this particular unit. It's so full of body she moves so gorgeously um very very thick like i'm telling y'all she makes me think of a healthy thick blowout like that's what she's giving me those are the vibes that i'm getting from her she's really pretty you know, in my best mean girl voice. You're like really pretty. <laughs> but she is such a gorgeous unit, you guys. All right, I will be here literally all day playing in this hair. So let me, let me go ahead and uh, wrap this up. So overall, I really, really love this unit, um, especially in this color. She just looks so just full of body, super, super healthy bounce. Uh, that hairline, the lace was a bit light. I had to use a little bit more product than what I typically would with a unit um i will say that that was a little bit different for me the faux scalp situation ultra it is not necessary it truly is not necessary if you give us a lace that we can tint higher we don't need the faux scalp that's all i'm saying just my suggestion but you know i doubt that they're gonna 
take the advice of little low me, but just something that you guys should be aware of when purchasing this unit. But overall, I definitely give this a nine out of 10. The only thing that I did not like was the, the lace on this one. She was fairly light and I had to go in with a lot more product than I normally would just to make her um, a little more seamless. So that would be her only negative. But other than that, I do think that she is a great grab. Make sure you guys go and pick her up again. It was the perfect hairline in the style Sky, and I have her in the color 1B. You can find her at the links below in the description box. And let me know what you guys think. If you try her on your pros, cons, and everything in between, I would love to hear back. As always, thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you have not, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And thank you so much to my 100 plus subscribers, y'all. We did it, I'm so excited. So because of that, we are gonna be doing our first ever wig away. So make sure you tune into the very next video on all the information of how to enter, how to win, and all that good stuff. I cannot wait, 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 to give out our first unit to one of our lucky followers. So. If you haven't, go ahead, subscribe, turn that bell on so you get all the notifications. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for joining your girl. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.